guys, I'm going to tell you a wee fly called the, the lightning bolt. Now the hook and the vise is a Partridge Patriot double in size 10. The thread we're going to use is the uni thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in, get the thread started, a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a few mil of thread, remove the waist tag of thread. The tag at the back is going to be an oval gold tinsel. This is an oval gold in size 14. I'm just catching this in underneath. Then I want to work my thread down just until I'm either in line or just slightly past the points of the hooks. Then I want to come around with four turns of the oval gold tinsel to create the tag. And on the last turn, bring it up and in between the two hooks. Follow this around with my thread now. Just going to keep this in underneath. Work the thread the whole way up. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the excess. So I want the, the rib on this to be a, a gold wire. Now, or sorry, a hot yellow wire. This is from UTC. Or you can use a gold wire. On the original pattern it's a oval gold tinsel that's used. I just feel that the, the wire will make the fly last a wee bit longer. Now I'm just working my thread back down, tying in the wire for the rib tied up against the, the tag, the tail. I'm going to cut a couple of strands of uh, pearl micro flesh. I'm going to put in about three strands or so pearl micro flesh. And you just want this right about the, the length of the body or so over the back. Around with a pinch and loop, another turn to hold. Just folding the excess back strength, come in and trim that away, just moisten that, leave that for the wing. I don't want these to be all the, the same length, so I'm just trimming them. The body is going to be a large holographic gold tinsel. Just get a length of this off. Just put that in the length. We'll just run our thread forward, tying in the, the tinsel, nice and tight. Now before you bring this up, you can put some super glue on, if you wish. Now just got a straight turn going at the back. Yep, happy enough of that. And then just overlapping turns of the, the gold holographic tinsel to create your body. Follow like that around a couple of turns of thread will secure that in. Come in and trim away the excess. Then we'll come up with a rib. And you're doing four turns up the body of the wire. Just catch this in. Maybe half a dozen turns or so. Bend and break away the wire. Now the first tackle here on the original pattern is a a fluorescent yellow, yeah, but like a chartreuse cock. I'm going to use a, flora, or a chartreuse winding lace wing. So we'll just get a nice feather off here. This is a this is a hen haggle, the lace wing. So just offer this up, run with a couple of turns, I'm going to fold the tip back. Just bring your thread back up over the tip. And the haggle. Then we'll just fold these back. Now the turns here are up to you. I'm looking possibly two turns anyway. If you like it sparse one turn would probably be enough. Just go back a wee touch here. Just not happy with the way that's sitting. So always go back. If you're not happy just always go back. Don't continue to, to tie the fly. Basically always go back. It's sitting better now for me. Now, it's going to look handy for me there. I'm going to follow this around with my thread. A couple of tight turns will catch that in. Come in and trim away the stem. Now, see at this point just come in with your finger and thumb over the eye. Just sweep everything back. Favorite or just the one behave itself. 
just hold it back get a bit of thread down at the front now the wing is basically just the the colour of the woolly gun so this is some yellow, orange and black uh, bucktail now you can have the wing really long on this fly if you wish uh, I don't know for me it's I always usually just go sort of way about a length and a half the two lengths of the hook over the back just pinching it a bit there around with a couple of tight turns uh, just check and see what way we're the way we're sitting then just lift the excess a nice pair of sharp scissors trim that away just keep it a hold of the wing just to stop it any movement on it just bringing the thread down over the cut ends just getting the base of thread down here at the same time. Now I'm going to go back to my micro flash. I'm just going to put all three strands in. This is just the same three strands that we use for the tail. So just hold it on top. Right with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns, fold the access back. A couple of turns over the top. Come in and trim that away. Faber there just doesn't want to stay back. So put a couple of turns in to hold him in the position. Now the front haggle, you're looking at a, a grey, this is just a grey cock haggle for the front. So I'm just stroking back the favours there to reveal the tip. Offer this up, around with a couple of turns, fold the tip back. If you fold the tip back guys, we're in the habit of this, it will 100% make for a, a far stronger fly for you and a last longer as well. Then we can break away that. Then I'm just going to come in with my scissors. Just run it up the stem. Get the fibers to fold back. And then you're just looking one turn in front of the other. Turns of the grey, yet again, entirely up to you as well. Just the much grey you want to see in the fly. Now, two turns is going to be plenty for me here. Just to there. Follow this around with your thread. Get a couple of tight turns in. Now, I'm going to fold the stem back. So I'm just keeping my thread tight here. And I'm just going to take away the some of the fibres off the stem. Then just come in. Just hold everything back and just build up your head. Any wee fibers that want to come forward, just hold those back. It's no big deal. Just build up a, a nice head on the fly. Now keeping your thread tight and break away the stem. And then we're just going to come in with our whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish. Pull the thread tight, come in and trim away your tan thread. Now, we're not looking too bad. First coat on the head, just a wee tiny drop off the old super glue. Now, just take your time with that stuff if you're using it. Right the whole way right round. And then I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish. But that's the, the lightning bolt. Now, all I've changed out here in this wee fly is the rib. On the original pattern, I believe it's an old gold tinsel. And then the, the first haggle is a, just a straightforward, straight through, sorry, a fluorescent yellow, which is basically near enough a chartreuse. Now, you can tie it with jungle cock. I um, put no jungle cock on. There was no, was no jungle cock required on the original pattern. I'll just show you with jungle cap and if you've got jungle cap sure you can always put it on but that's it with jungle cap there so look you can tie a few up it's meant to be a good fly I'm gonna tie two or three up there for myself two with jungle cap and one without and we'll try it out so look tie a few of those up guys hopefully you can catch a few fish 
Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, and you maybe haven't already subscribed to the channel, please think about subscribing. It's free. The subscription is free. Um, I, I'm not making any sort of revenue or money out of the channel. This is just to help people um, get into the, the art of fly tan. So have a think about it if you haven't already subscribed. And please consider. And until next time, please stay safe. And take lanes, guys.